What's up everybody, this is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. Right now it is um, 7.40, Tuesday, August 25th. And right now I'm coming at you with a video about my favorite Twitter app. I've kind of taken a lot into consideration. The top three things that I'm looking for in a Twitter app is um, number one, multiple accounts. Number two, the ability to upload videos straight from your phone. And number three, the GUI. Um, I need something minimal, um, something you can just you know fire up real quick. Everything's laid out for you, super clean, super uh, fast on the on the tweeting. So um, with all that said, I've kind of narrowed it down to um, five applications, and here they are. Twitter Fawn, Twitter Later, Tweety, Twitterific, and Simply Tweet. So here's how my testing has gone so far. I've shot out all of these against each other. Each one offers its own pros and its own cons. My top two favorites are Twitter Fawn and Twitter Later Pro for these reasons alone. Twitterific is cool. It's very nice. It, the free one, I mean, you can't beat free ever. See, it's nice and responsive. Uh, it does allow you to do multiple accounts. You just go to your sources, add new ones, and all that stuff. You can change the theme. You, you can change all this stuff. But the reason why I didn't like it is, for one, you cannot upload video as of right now. So if I go over here to make a new entry and I want to include a video, I cannot do that. So right off the bat, that one loses my vote. Now, second up, I guess, is probably Simply Tweet. I hadn't heard of Simply Tweet ever but I did like a little generic search in the app store and this came up. So I thought I would download it, try it out, blah da yada yada, all that stuff. As you can tell, all these ones, um, by default, the theme is a lot lighter looking. However, I changed all of them to this kind of darker look. I think it looks a little more, a little more legit. And it looks better with my logo on there, see that? <laughs> Anyways, this is a good app. You can do multiple accounts. However, switching between those multiple accounts is kind of, um, gets kind of tedious and I like to switch through my accounts nice and quickly. All the other applications that I've used so far, you would just simply choose each user account and then um, from there you would, oh, you would then just click on the name and it would automatically log you in. However, with this one, you have to, you know, it's not that bad. It's just, you know, there's an extra step in there. You click on the name that you want to log in as and then you s select use this account. Then from there you go and check out all your newest stuff. As far as pictures, that are uploaded from people. As you can see, uh, this doesn't show any kind of preview. You do have to click on the, t the actual message to, in order to see the picture, and that is slightly annoying for what I want to use Twitter for. So, that one loses my vote for those reasons. Now you're like, well, hey, there's three left, and now it's between these three, I guess. Twitter Fawn, Twitter Later Pro, and Tweety. Now, I've heard a lot of, lot of good reviews and a lot of bad reviews about each of these applications. Number one in the App Store right now is Tweety. Tweety's really good because it's super minimal. I mean, and it because it's so minimal, it's super, super smooth. Look at that. I'm scrolling through and everything is really responsive. I like the rubber banding effect that it, this has and the flicking. Like, it is, I like that a lot. It's really smooth. Switching between accounts is very easy. You just hit this account button and then click on the appropriate name. As far as seeing the videos and pictures that people have posted and links, you have to, again, click on the, the tweet and then access the picture via that, that link. And that gets, I mean, that's fine, I guess. It's just an extra step, once again, that is kind of annoying. This one does uh, not, right now at least, I've, I've heard mixed reviews that um, Tweety is going to come out with video support, but right now it does not support video, and that, no bueno. I kind of like to integrate all my, my networking tools, Quick, YouTube, Twitter, being my top three, um, all in the same kind of sense. There are no push no f notifications for either of the remaining three right now. The only one that I found that offers push notifications was... Um... So with that in mind, with because of the lack of video support that Tweety offers, however, it is a very streamlined, very minimal um, GUI I really like. This one would have won if, if it would have offered video support. And when it does, I'm sure this one will be killing the game. Um, it's got very you know, minimal customizing everything, so that's cool. Um, again, because of the video support, I'm, I'm really bummed about that, so this one loses my vote. Goodbye, Tweety. So, peace out. Now, it's down to the wire, down to these two right here. We've got Twitter Fawn and Twitter Later. Let me tell you, both of these offer amazing Twitter um, capabilities. Twitter Fawn is probably my favorite 
of all the of all the graphical user interfaces. This one looks very very similar to Tweety, how it has the icons and the screen names of the people on the left hand side right here. They eliminate one step that all the other ones didn't have. Before you'd have to click on the entire message and then from there click on the link of the picture or the video. But since it's kind of it links itself in this program, so you can just click on that. So that's cool. That's huge. This one does let you manage multiple accounts, as you can see right here, and the logo and the icons of each username is right there, and I really, really like that. You can change the themes. There's three different themes you can have. One's cleaner, one's lighter, and there's this one. You can see your app mentions and all that stuff. Everything looks pretty, pretty clean. Really, really clean, actually. This one, I like. I like this one a lot. Um, this is definitely one of my go-to's as far as um, Twittering is concerned. The reason why I like this one over, say, uh, Twitterlator is because the lack of of stuff that you can customize. I mean, with Twitterlator, you can set so many settings that it almost gets kind of like overwhelming feeling that you have all these different things that you can do with it, but there are a lot of ones that Twitterlator has that I wish, you know, Twitterfon had and so on and so forth. But this one comes in close. I'd say this is my second place to pick. You can upload video and choose existing media so I can shoot a video if I don't have self service I can then upload it later so that's huge I like this tweeting app a lot now you're probably like well since you just kinda downplayed this one over Twitter later then which one do you like the best damn as it stands right now I think I like Twitter later the best as you can see it gives you the preview of a picture other than linking you but you can also then click on the picture and it takes you right to it um, also you can click on the username pull up all of their information yes I follow I Justine she's a beast and you can see all the followers you can you know mention them send them direct messages all that good stuff and see their geolocation the way that Twitter later lays out their um, user profile icons over the the actual you know messages is very clean looking especially with that little preview option right there that's huge for me you can switch users very very easily again you just click that and then you're you're in your next user account bam boom post a new tweet you can do all this stuff enter all these little icons I haven't even messed with these to tell you the truth I don't even know how to access them but you can also do your uh, location include people and also upload a soiree of different types of media you can choose stuff from your library you can record audio which none of the other ones do you can also record video or take a snapshot if you so choose desire and for those reasons alone this is oh whoops sorry about that guys damn I need a tripod anyway for those reasons alone Twitter later wins in my opinion. I've been using this one a lot lately, but for some reason I, f I feel I find myself going back and forth between Twitter Fawn and Twitter later. And I have no idea because they look very very similar. The themes that they have stock already, they're very close in color and uh, I don't know. I just I don't know. I just like them. Also, a big big thing and I have been trying testing this out lately is the ability to post your videos once you have shot them to YouTube. And I tried that. It worked. It's kind of buggy a little bit and I feel right now because I tried to do it earlier today and it took forever to upload it. But it finally did. And when it did, things looked really good. The quality was good. You can choose from a bunch of different um, you know, picture providers as far as your picture hosting goes and as well as your video hosting goes. So for those reasons alone, plus all these other features that I haven't even dwelled into, like because you can customize this program so much, Twitter later wins. So... For any of those people out there looking for the right Twitter app for their iPhone, take a look at this video and also, you know, ask me questions you have. If you have any, um, I can just load those programs up, compare them. You know, if you want to see like Twitter later versus Tweety or something like that for blank reasons, just send a request and I'll be more than happy to do that. So as it stands right now, your boy Tim from Tim's Tech Blog uses Twitter later for his iPhone 3GS for the reasons being multiple user accounts, upload video, and the graphical user interface. But as a bonus, you can upload your videos to YouTube as well. Hey, okay, sorry about that guys, my video got cut off a little early because my uh, memory card filled up. But I guess that's basically it. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or requests on any of those, hit me up. This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog, checking out of here, using Twitter later. I like it. Peace.